So we're going to want to turn on MFA for this account, um, specifically the root account here. Uh, and the reason why is that let's say someone stole your email and password to this uh, root account, uh, then they would be able to do some serious damage. So by turning on MFA, uh, there's going to be an additional layer of security. So the idea is uh, when somebody logs in, they're going to have to provide an additional code based on the MFA uh, delivery mechanism. So just let's go here and hit manage MFA. Uh, okay, and so it's going to pop up here and just say what we're already doing, which is um, to uh, start securing our account. And so I'm just going to click off there, go to MFA and activate MFA. And so now we're going to be presented with three options. We have virtual, U uh, uh, UTF, and other hardware. So virtual is going to be for mobile devices. That's what we're going to do. So we're just going to go ahead there and hit continue. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to install a compatible application on our phone. So just going over here, if we scroll down, it's going to uh, tell us which ones are compatible. Uh, I definitely know Authenticator is one, so I'm just going to search for that there. Um, where are you? Yeah, down here. So if you're on Android or iPhone, you have uh, Authy2 or Google Authenticator. I'm using Google Authenticator. I find that more easy to use. And then the idea here is you'll just hit show QR code. And then uh, using uh, once you have Authenticator installed, you're going to open up the Authenticator app. I know you can't see me doing this, so I'll just have to talk my way through it here. And uh, there's a plus button in Google Authenticator, and it says scan a barcode. And so now I'm holding my, uh, my uh, um, phone up to the computer there. It's grabbed the code, and it's saved the secret. So now what I need to do is enter in two consecutive codes. So going down here... Um, I'm going to enter this code in before it expires. So this one is 786763. And then there's a little wheel that is spinning, and it's going to then uh, give us a new set of numbers. Okay, and so now it is now um, 984816. And so I'm just going to hit assign MFA there. And now it uh, MFA is turned on. So now that we have MFA turned on, we can make our way back to our dashboard and proceed to the next step.